Hello, and welcome back to that video game that I made once. Super Coat Pockets Battle Extreme. Today, I guess we're going to do more of... this stuff. So... Let's see what Ian's boss is. I mean, I know what it is. But... Point is... That it's Bert! Bert is a giant fat Pikachu plush that I own, who is currently sitting above and to my left on a shelf. And, um, yeah. So we're gonna fight Bert, I guess. Because why not? Bert doesn't have much HP, which is awfully suspicious. That's because... Bert is gonna do something. I wonder if you can skip that something. If you move fast enough. Or... Status effect Bert enough. It's possible. I mean, it's possible that it's possible. I'm not sure if it's actually possible or not. We might find out. Maybe not. Because I probably gave Bert a lot more HP than it says that Bert has. In order for it to make sure that this happens. Negabert! Omnipotent Negabert. So this is the real boss fight. And this is, is... This is... Kind of... Extremely silly. I mean, look at him. He's got glowing purple eyes and, like... Bloodied fangs. Why? Just cuz. Oh man, Nijid. That's a spell that you can learn as a player. And its origin is in a typo of night, I think. Either a typo or a deliberate misspelling. Nice of you to put Zechariah to sleep so that they couldn't ruin your fight by causing all status effects. It's weird that things... Magic seems to have a... It had no effect on message when it misses. Because I'm pretty sure that's just missing. Blind, to sleep, poison, rage, pretty much everything. Trivial Pursuit might be overpowered a little. Maybe just a little. It's a theory. Nice music loop there. Everyone loves the music loop. Ugh, that was sudden. 
Don't enrage Negavert without prior thought, apparently. But, Negavert is defeated! Infinity plus one sword. I think that's rare. Swashing blow! I don't remember what that's a reference to, if anything. This is a TV tropes joke! Hoorah! The Infinity Plus One Sword is a trope regarding the most powerful weapon you can obtain in a game. And exactly what it says on the tin is a trope describing things which describe themselves. Yep. Anyway, we need to shuffle out some party members in order to see the rest of these fights. If you add them quickly enough, it the jingle doesn't play twice. Oh man. I'm gonna keep the healer around though. What can you buy? Eh. I think most of those are just kind of mediocre. Honestly. It will restore your MP, but you are not a robot. Alright then. Let's do kits. It's the Angry Sun! Featuring... Uh... Trin only has two MP for some reason. That's interesting. Featuring, um... A remix of the Super Mario Bros. 3 battle music. Found on OC Remix. OC Remix is a website with a lot of remixes in it. Yep. A lot of them are actually... I don't like them that much, honestly. Ow. That was destructive. I have no idea if silencing the angry sun will accomplish anything. So far, it seems like the Angry Sun just sort of charges at you and stuns you, which I guess seems appropriate. I'm sure eventually this will go somewhere. Ah, it can do that too. All right. Now that I have the Infinity Plus Sword, Frenzy is better, it seems. This is going well. Kit's special attack. Which I guess the Angry Sun can use because it's Kit's boss. Hooray. What happens if I do that? The 
Angry Sun can also do Kit's other special attack, which he learns eventually. do that again, apparently. Well. Angry Sun is pretty rude. Which I guess is canonical. But now it's dead. Kuribo Shu. And then Kit learned that Nova attack. Legendary shoes sealed into one level due to their game-breaking resistance. I guess that's kind of true. A little bit. Not not super true. Right then. Next up, the Trin Boss. Even sillier, it's Cats. This is music from Zero Wing, the thing that you would mostly only know for its hilariously bad translation. But, yep. Cats gets to take up the entire screen. Cats does a lot of Trin's attacks also. I think Cats can revive the bits also. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised if that was true. Yep. Oh no. Cat's moved Zig. How dare you? So naturally when I made this game, I must have thought that Zero Wing was like the top humor of all time. I think Cats goes very well with this green background. Oh no. Wait, did Shag actually recover less MP because of the Karibo shoe? That's kind of hilarious, and most certainly unintended. Huh, I found a bug. Interesting. Cats is lockable, which means I could technically stun lock them, I guess. That's fun. Uh, 
Uh, yep. I knew that would happen. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. That's kind of silly. Well then. Hooray! Next on core. And Trin's secret skill is the blue screen of death, which uh, can kill and or stun everything. Exxon Core is a good magic boost. Actually, hang on. I'll give it to you. We need Vuli, and always the healer, until we can, until later when we can sort of bypass the need for healing. Alright. Vuli is the weird one. Because we fight the background itself. With Mother 3 music. Now, I'm sure this fight can break if you use status effects. Probably. So... Maybe let's not do that? one of the few times that the scan outright fails. So this background uses system messages to attack you, basically. Like it just found a sandwich to damage you. So that's weird, I guess. This Mother Thay music. Oh, it can also do an attack that claims it's being done by Chag. I can't believe we're fighting the background. It gradually breaks and weird stuff happens. I think an additional space gets added to its name every time. Would you like to stay? It used an in on you. What happens if we beat the background? Probably nothing, honestly. I mean... Works pretty much perfectly fine. Do you want to fight Bipolaris? Wow, we haven't even done that yet. No! No! 
Oh, the drama that's being manufactured here. Tried to do a critical hit from me on it for to us question mark it's hard to describe what this thing is doing bipolaris is one other thing i wonder if it's vaguely offensive like if that would bother anyone who's actually bipolar it's really real! It's really real! It's the real background! I think if I were to make that particular enemy again, I would just name it Polaris instead. Or maybe I would come up with something entirely different. Or maybe it's not actually a problem at all. <coughs> no idea. Oh, now it's just attacking. How droll. Dots. Oh. Well, it can do that now. So that's something. It can declare itself defeated naming itself the background image and do like 12,000 damage apparently that's fun I can't believe I accidentally made Shag resist healing. Hooray, we actually won, though. And Vuli realizes the power of PK Rockin'. Vuli gets a special thing. The most powerful psychic power known to man, given only to the chosen few. And now that we've done all that, we get a shiny stone, because of course we do, because it's freaking Monstro Town. What did you expect? And we can enter that sealed doorway. That leads to the third ending of the game, though. So I'm actually gonna not do that. I just wanted to do all the boss fights and stuff to get various power upgrades and so on. So, instead, Let's accidentally use the wrong thing. Instead, let's beat up the battle dummy? I'm the battle dummy. You can use me to test out your skills. Oh, this is where Yakety Sax is in the game. Anyway, the battle dummy is apparently a slime. So, the battle dummy is actually made specifically for you to try stuff out. And, like, you can't it cannot actually fight you. I don't think. 10,000 HP. PK Rockin' is a little bit underwhelming. I think the battle dummy can be instantly killed, actually. I'm gonna try Tribal to Pursuit more. I actually made it able to attack me by doing that because it went into a rage. Huh. That's interesting. Um.
I, I really do think it can be instant killing. But maybe I shouldn't try that. You do get something for killing it, but you can also just run away when you're done trying stuff out. Only 10 MP, huh? I guess I didn't give it much MP. Hmm. That could be a problem. But if I just make sure it's bleeding and poisoned, those are two damage dealing status effects that should take care of it eventually. I could just smash attack for a while. Pretty sure you get something for doing this. And you get something for the... Battle Dummy Ultra, too. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I knew that could Wow, nobody's ever done that before. As a reward, take this life ring. Yeah, it's just a life ring. Oh well. Could be better than nothing, depending on how you feel about it. I'm going to try and go ahead and do the Battle Dummy Ultra, too, while I'm at it. So, assuming that that can also be instant killed, I might as well use both of the instant kill people on it. Of course, it's possible that it's not possible, in which case, whoops, but we'll find that out soon enough. Oh, this is where this is. A super distorted version of the character select screen. I thought I was just creepypastaing myself when I found this out. Why is Trin at 3 MP again? This keeps happening. <laughs> Twelve thousand. I forget if Battle Dummy Ultra actually does anything, or what.
Oh, it heals itself. I see. Yay, I did it. Well, that was the first time I've been beaten. Not that there's anyone to fight me. As a reward, take this saint ring. That was a good fight. I'll be shutting down now. Also, they're protected from KO. How about that? It's shut off. Man, that battle dummy sure didn't want to... I don't know where I was going with that sentence, but sure didn't. Next time... On Super Code Pockets Battle Extreme, Extreme, Extreme... I'm gonna actually do the main part of the game that you're supposed to do first. Ain't that something. So, join me next time when... Oh, I already saw that. Join me next time when I actually fight the first boss of the game. Always save three times.